Hello all. Hope you all are doing great. Welcome to NoMam YouTube channel. Have you ever thought how to host a web application on server? Is it easy or difficult? Well, in today's video, we'll see how to launch a web server along with VM from Azure portal. And also, guess what? We are not doing it manually. We'll use one script to install it for us. And that script can be found in the video description. So let's get started. Now I'll log into Azure portal. As I have lo already logged in, I'll click on virtual machines. Or you can search from here as well. Virtual machines. I'll click on create Azure virtual machine. So I'm on free trial. Here you can select resource group if you have any or else you can create. Currently, I'm using my existing resource group called DevRC. So in instance details, I'm providing instance name. YouTube VM. For now, I'm installing Nginx and Ubuntu server, so I'm not changing OS and all. Here, I'm using authentication type password. Username Azure admin. I'm setting up one password. Here, I'm allowing port 80 as well, which uh, Nginx port will run. SSH connection uh, for remote connection. Next, I'm changing, I'm not changing any configuration related to a disk. Next, next, where I'm mostly interested is advanced. In advanced configuration, so if we see custom data, so here we need to provide the script. What is the script? This is the sample script to install Nginx web server. I'll explain. So here package upgrade uh, means we are telling to install or upgrade some packages. Which package? Nginx package. And then once the package got installed, we need to execute these three commands. So which are in run command. First command is service nginx start. By default, after installing, it won't start the web server. So we need to start the web server by executing this command. Next thing. So if you want your nginx service to be run every time, so you need to enable it as a service. So for that, we'll use this command system CTL enable nginx. After that, the last command is for if you want to set a host name for your application, like when you logged into uh, your web server uh, from your browser. So to check whether you are logged into the same uh, virtual machine or not, we can use this command. What it will do? It will print your host name with the h1 tag so you can easily identify that okay i am on the right server so that's all the script what i'll do i'll just copy the script paste in custom date that's it i'll click on review and create It is showing me one hour tries and all. So it will validate each and every configuration which we have uh, created here. Once the validation passes, we'll get this create option enabled. We'll just wait for a moment. See, now validation passed. I'll click on create. 
it will take couple of minutes to spin up this instance and you know uh, that uh, uh, nginx to be installed and all we'll wait for 2 minutes as you can see the deployment is completed so i'll click on go to resource here you'll get uh, all vm related details what i am interested is this public ip address i'll copy this public ip i'll paste it in browser if you see welcome to nginx and the host name which you have provided youtube vm it came so that's it guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe to normam youtube channel